so I've been given a scope recently in Northwind. And if you don't know about scopes, they just let you see a lot further, which they have to, you have to get used to them. But I, I've been using these for a while, but I've never really had like the full long range test. So here's the here's the footage of like the first time I tested it at like long range with faction combat where other people can actually do damage. And if other people can do damage, that means you can almost like it's possible now for you to shoot someone at a long range with a scope and someone else to shoot someone at a long range with a scope doing enough damage to knock them out as opposed to solo where you have to hit them with your pistol and your rifle or you have to reload your rifle at which point they're they're going to be long gone run for cover do anything anyways here we're raiding the saint lawrence company they're the british guys and they have these red outfits they also have funny outfits i you can't really ever tell who's who's who in like faction battles but it's close enough i'm gonna take a guess that a bunch of allies aren't rallying inside the enemy fort for some reason those are probably actual saint lawrence company members and then we spot that they're moving to a nearby mountain so we get some snipes in because you know we can they keep running to this nearby mountain some of the graphics aren't the best because you know it it's not meant to be zoomed in this much or be sniping at this bigger range, but that, that's how it be. We keep sniping here. We, we get a lot of hits in, but a lot of these aren't actually doing anything because they're bandaging like after we hit them and then before we can get our second shot in with our rifle, they bandage and they heal back up. So these are more for like fun target practice, I guess. No one's actually gonna win this fight up here. They bring out a cannon, but even with a cannon, they're still not going to really win this fight at a range. But nonetheless, it does make for some great target practice to suppress the guy who's operating the cannon. And we also pull out our pistol to try and do a quick switch, but then I realize that our gun isn't actually loaded. We keep doing quick... We keep trying to hit them with the, the rifle, and they, they actually shot some bullets that landed pretty close. Then these guys came up after most of the guys server hopped. I thought they were colonists, but apparently they were SLC, which they, they then died by our teammates though, who did some melee stuff. And then this guy over here on the next server is just kind of standing there. Then he jumps out of render distance, so there's not much we can do there. Back to sniping again. The reason a lot of people ask why I'm not using like a Milton rifle, which you might ask about that, because Milton rifles, I think they have like higher damage or something, or like better accuracy, but they, they have a way longer reload. I mean, it's not that much longer, but it's still a couple of seconds longer. So with the Bayern, what that allows us to do is reload faster. For example, here, it doesn't really matter how much damage we do, as long as we're able to shoot quicker to possibly get a follow-up shot. So that's, that's kind of why I like the Bayern better than other rifles at a range. Then we die, so we respawn and we're watching our teammates are going up here. But we're too far away to actually attack with them, so we're going to be some sniper support because this video is about sniping. Then we, we miss our snipe there, and it looks like some guys are approaching the hill. I think some of those guys are our team. Oh wait, no, those are our teammates charging up now. Again, we try to shoot, but because there's such a delay between when we shoot and when the bullet actually lands over there, we don't actually know who to shoot. That guy might have actually been an ally, I don't know, but either way, he's, he's, he's not coming back up the cliff the entire way again. That's probably not the most healable thing. Then we join back with the unit and we start fighting again. Here's the thing though, the St. Lawrence Company respawns inside that fort, so it's a really bad idea to get too close, or else they can just respawn faster than we can reload. Now, this guy down here is running, uh, we miss our first shot, but we hit our second shot, and then we revive. Apparently this guy also recognized us, so we heal him, but I mean, we would have healed him either way, but he recognized us, so it's, it's epic. He, we know he's at least not a traitor. Uh, then we shoot these guys down here with the, the sniper. Uh, also, uh, there's this guy, we snipe him. Common question I get, uh, well it's not really common, I, I just wanted to say that because it sounded, it sounded like less. A lot of people are probably wondering why, you know, why does he call people fans and allies in his video? Uh, because, you know, short answer is, if I'm representing God, and that's, that's kind of your job as a Christian. 
Uh, if I'm representing God and I say, oh, this guy's my friend and he's just some dude I found raiding SLC, that he could be a serial killer in real life. I have no clue what this guy is, what he's done, and what he's doing in real life. So when you say friend, you're, you're kind of like endorsing their lifestyle or at least you're claiming to know a significant amount about them, so I, I don't typically call I don't typically call people friend. Uh, sometimes I'll call them fans if they're like, "Yo, Candy Power," or like they say something that you know highly suggests that they've heard of me before by a significant amount. Also, there's allies is another term I use for. That's really just anyone who's raiding SLC. Uh, or, you know, whatever we're doing, which we're almost always raiding SLC, so of course, that's when the term is used most. But yeah, we have, it's not just Candy Power thinks everybody's a fan. I do actually talk with these people more than just you see in the video. There's, there's an actual, like, when it, you find someone in a raid, typically, typically they, if I call them a fan, typically they said something like, It's Candy Power, my favorite YouTuber! Plus, make signature, and you know, that kind of thing. Candy power! Then we have this moment here where we're all trying to hit him, but we have, we have the swinging melees, which go around in a longer area, so while he's using his safe zone, he, he actually has a, a much better thing while we have humans surrounding him. But what happens here is that we were actually able to use our pistol because our pistol is not a swinging melee, so our pistol will not, our pistols, it, it just, it's not going to do collateral damage. Then we move back here and there's some guys here that I, I can't tell who's actually where because we're lagging a lot, so they could actually be standing right next to me. Then we go here, we just charge around here, that was probably not the best idea, so we just walk back. And, of course, we stand here. We kind of guard this guy's corpse. There's not much I can do here because I got a bandage. Then when we bandage, we finish bandaging, but then we get shot before it finishes. Quote, shot. Uh, then this guy over here claims the, the bounty while he's still invincible because, you know, this be the SLC raid. Then this happens where Northwind essentially bugs out. I don't know if this is something the SLC caused themselves. Because I've, no I've noticed like some of them will say they're going to do it and then it actually happens. So I don't know if this is something they can cause or something completely random. But anyways, we're here now and we use some tracerless knives to hit that guy there. They're tracerless because with guns you can see like a projectile trail and everyone around you can see it. Whereas with knives, uh, you know, you can, you can hit guys and they don't know where you... No one else knows where you hit them from. And it it's also pretty quick, so... You don't have to worry about that. Then we shoot at this guy here. Then we get approached by another guy while we're in disguise. I think he probably recognizes us or something because he runs away. We shoot at him once. We start with our pistol so that if we hit our pistol, which is incredibly inaccurate, we can use our rifle to then hit the last shot. But we, we didn't hit our pistol, so kind of oof moment. And then we spot the guy down there. We shoot at him again. We boil the gun. And we keep shooting. This guy... Okay, we didn't oil our gun, actually. Turns out we ran out of gun oil. I think some guy looted it, probably. Then we get shot here again, but, of course, internet versus bullets. And then we shoot back. We, we start moving back, and then we, we shoot again, and we miss, but he shoots at us. We run back. We run all the way to the badge claim shop, and we keep shooting back. Uh... We don't, we don't actually hit our shot, but they hit one, and we, we move back into this trench here. We revive, we keep running backwards, because reviving is faster than reloading, so, you know, yeah. Then in the actual town, we have this epic chase here, and what I figured out is by hovering my, my gun over that guy, I found out the hitbox was not red, or the hit cursor was not red. In other words, the guy to the left is not tracking our bounty, so he can't actually fight us in a safe zone. I just double check here just to make sure, and then using his friend as a cover, he can't actually do anything to us. So we got one we got one SLC down, we reload while his teammates just sit in there. I don't think his teammate realized he could revive his friend there. I I kinda wanted to suggest it to them so we'd have a more interesting video, but then again no. Then we fight this guy here, and at this point, we just wait for him to shoot his one gun that he has loaded. 
we bandage, which is faster than reloading. Then we hit him, apparently he didn't even bandage. Then this guy in the safe zone attacks us again. Uh, we, we can't actually hit him. Heal ourselves down here, but the bandage doesn't work. Uh, then we get shot, and we died. And this time it actually put us in prison. So, you know, they figured out how to make their game actually function as intended. So, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe.